Tonight, a new report on disgusting conditions at military base housing across the country. For months, Aid on Your Side has been telling you about mold problems inside base housing at MacDill. Now we're learning that there are military housing problems all across the country. And News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson reports a local attorney says fraud and illegal activity may be involved in an effort to cover up these problems. Inside base housing here at MacDill, mold is a significant problem, reported by nearly 60% of the families. Now we are learning some of the conditions inside base housing are simply disgusting. A report from the Military Family Advisory Network surveyed military families at base housing across the country. The report found complaints of rats, roaches, and filthy living conditions, and little effort by private contractors to correct the problems. And MacDill, the problem is still mold. It's obscene that it's like that. There are families that are continuing to report things even today. It's not resolved. Tracy Lenz first told us about mold issues at her base house months ago. She went to Congress to talk about the problem. The secretary of the Air Force flew here to talk about the mold issue. But Lenz and others say the problem is still there and they've lost thousands trying to recover from it. We've had nothing refunded or reimbursed or paid for despite any promises or meetings. Attorney Natalie Quam with the whistleblower law firm is representing some of the McDill families with mold problems. She says it's not just negligence, there is fraud involved too. Yes, I think there's fraud. I think there's um, illegal activity. I think there's a few crimes that were committed. I will be sharing this with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Natalie Qualm says the cover-up has been far worse than the initial problem, but she is working to resolve both issues. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.